friends and family. Thought I would jump on here while I still have a little bit of daylight left. It is 4.35 Thursday. Big boy, BB2. I just dropped him off at his dance class. I am in the car with baby girl and BB2. Baby girl has piano in about 20 minutes. So I wanted to jump on here. In my last video, I told you guys how Hubsters and I have tickets to Black Panther, which he is aware of. What he's not aware of is that I made reservations at our favorite restaurant. It's um, called Hillstone. They're nationwide, but they're two here in NYC. And it's special because it was the place of our first date. I thought I'd give you guys a quick story time. All right, so boo -doo 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 -doo. back it up, back it up to 2006. So my husband and I actually met August 5th of 2006 and we were friends we met as friends it's so funny because the night i met him i was actually being set up to meet someone else and he happened to be the friend hanging out with the group so i went to a bar with my girl raquel and my our friend michael had set me up with i forgot the guy's name is not even important but but my husband was there as well uh, so we actually ended up meeting up a couple of times. We had a few mutual friends. We went to a card game together. I remember seeing his name on the Evi, and we were partners in spades, undefeated, hashtag undefeated. And so we were cool. I mean, we were just friends. I met him as a friend, and we were just friends. And so we just started hanging out. And I remember that he asked me to go see, go to a co-worker's birthday party. I think it was Ramona's. And then before the birthday party, he invited me to dinner. So I was like, absolutely. He's great company. He really is. So we're at dinner and we're just chit-chatting. And he says to me, whenever we hang out or talk, when I go home, I just, I can't stop thinking about you. And I said, oh no what did I what did I do did I say something did I do something he says I was going for something sensational yet sincere I've been losing sleep over you I think so highly of you and it was it, it was so sweet it was so thoughtful and he asked me to be his girlfriend and so I told him I need to think about it but then of course as you guys can tell, I said yes. And so we started dating. We started dating that winter, actually. So we were friends for about three or four months. Then we started dating. And then we ended up um, getting married in 2008. And we've been married ever since. Wow. How many years is that? 14 years? We've been married. We've been together for 16 years. Is that right, baby girl? Maybe. <laughs> so I wanted to like, just jump on here. Uh, I'm going to take you guys with me uh, to lunch tomorrow. We have reservations at 1.30. We're going to go to the Hillstone on Park Avenue South. I have never had a bad meal there. Every single time I go to Hillstone, it's a good time and it's a good meal. Whether it's live jazz. Tell me why I saw Venus Williams there. I saw Venus Williams there. It had to have been 2011, 2010, 2011. It was during US Open and she was there for dinner and I just went crazy because I'm a huge, huge fan of both the Williams sisters. Um, so yes, super excited that we have an official, we already had a date day plan to go see Black Panther, but we're gonna go to our special restaurant as well. I literally, I don't even know what to get because everything there is delici delicioso, Mwah, chef's kiss. I think I'll probably stick to the veggie burger with a nice baked potato and a lemonade and I'll probably end up splitting a dessert with Hubsters. But yeah, I just wanted to give you my story time of when my hub's husband asked me to be his girlfriend. All right, guys, until next time.